okay create a alv program using field catalog so what is the use of field catalog we can customize the output so you can change the column positions and you can use your own selection text okay and you can highlight some columns there are certain certain advantages of using field catalog I'm just copying the code as it is starting from type pools until the data selection. Okay, so now we don't need the structure, we can just use a Final structure, you don't need to separately create a data dictionary structure. You can just use this final structure. When we are using field catalog, clear? So before using this CLV field catalog, what is required? Type pools list. What is this type pools list? This is the type group for uh, ALV reports. So this contains type structures, which we are using in uh, ALV reports. Clear? Now, so the code is ready. We don't need to write any code. You know all this, right? Again, we don't need explanation. So this is just an example. Please don't write as it is, write your own select statements, okay? Now, before building the field catalog, first we have to define field catalog structures. How to define field catalog structures? So, for field catalog, we'll be having a structure like this, type structure like this. Where can you find that? In SLIS. Double click on this SLIS. SLIS. So these are all type structures, right? Yeah. So types big enough, list uh, field catalog main zero is one type structure. So this contains separate uh, certain set of fields. Here, observe here, they are merging two type structures into single type structure that is sys underscore field catalog underscore main first they have created two type structures two separate type structures and in a third type structure what they are doing they are including uh, the above two type structures now this type structure sys underscore field catalog underscore main contains all the fields of type structure main main zero and type structure main one okay so we'll take this type structure. We'll define our internal table and work area with reference to this type structure. Clear? Copy this. Go back. <clears throat> How to define the work area? Data. Mm. We'll take double A underscore R. You can also take LS local structure. It is global structure. We'll take GS. You can also take W also work area also. 
gs underscore gs means global structure just like work area okay field cat type okay gt underscore gt means global internal table okay so we have defined the internal table and work area let's so let's go to software self statements after building the final internal table what next we have to do build the field catalog here Build the field catalog here. How to build the field catalog? Wa underscore i. Uh, what is the structure name? GS or WA, whatever you, you can take. Okay. Hyphen. What is the field names? Go to SLIS. list main zero column position column position means in which position this field should display equal to zero one <coughs> field name is mandatory <coughs> okay so column position and these are maybe optional, but field name is mandatory. You, you should uh, pass the field name. Okay. What is the first column you want to display? <coughs> EBLN, right? Always you should use in capital letters. Field name should be provided in capital letters. Don't use lowercase. It should be always in uppercase. At least field name should be. And uh, we'll also pass the selection text. Selection text means header text, which is displaying from uh, from where we are displaying this header text. Hello. Uh, uh, hello. From where we are getting that header text? 
in the nlv we are able to see some header text right which is expanding expanding automatically field labels yeah like data element field label we are going to get the text since we are uh, since we are using field catalog that will be bypassed now we are not going to use that uh, data element uh, uh, field labels now we have to provide our own uh, selection text using this these three fields selection text long selection text medium and selection text short okay equal to long text strings This is a short text. That's it. Append ZS underscore field catalog to gt underscore field catalog clear is it clear till now so we defined one work area and internal table for the field catalog by referring the type type group you can see is this just one time job if you know you can just copy and paste this in every program okay and just the you can you can copy and paste this part in every program it is common for every program okay this data declaration of field catalog only only difference is the field names you have to change the field names and those descriptions because the structure is same everywhere this is for first field what is the second field we need to display ebelp right column position 2 EBLP <coughs> item PO item okay After appending this, just clear the okay this one. If you don't clear this work area, what will happen? Also, I'll show you. material okay so i'm not see you have to build 
same thing for all these fields which you want to display an output whatever the fields you want to display an output you have to do for all those fields same process change the field name and description and align the column position now i have built only for these three fields let's display the output okay let's display the output how it is going to okay so i just uh, build the field catalog what next display lv report what is the function module lv underscore I use the lv grid display hmm. so enable exporting structure name uh, remove all unnecessary fields just keep callback program that is s5 hyphen cprog that is program name our current program name top of page end of page structure name we don't need structure name now because we are using field catalog okay let's keep only field catalog and remove the rest just provide field catalog internal table to that and this final t tab <coughs> to provide your final internal table that is gt underscore final 